The real estate investment market today is a market that's driven by stability. I don't think we're going to see a lot of ups and downs in the market. I think that the market is going to be very slow. I think that there's not going to be a tremendous amount of volume. I think it's going to be a very evenly paced market through the next three to five years. Investors today have quite a few challenges, most of them being in how to underwrite the assets that are coming to market. We're seeing really a bifurcated market, a market that has got a lot of distress, a market that has Class A assets that are spread throughout the United States, and in several markets that are recovering that two years ago were considered distressed markets, San Francisco, Silicon Valley. Those markets are showing great opportunities, um, cap rates that are trading as they were in 2006 and 2007. But I think the greatest challenge, again, is finding the opportunities to get out the tremendous amount of capital that's been raised and making wise choices. The opportunities in the real estate market today really fall, I think, in two product categories. I think it's multifamily and retail. I think in multifamily, you're seeing a lot of those values being driven by the huge foreclosures in the market. And I think in the retail, you're still seeing a lot of the Class A grocery anchored retail that is both regional and local bringing in the cap rates that we saw in 2006 and 2007. People still have to buy milk and bread and they still have to feed their families. When we sit down with clients today, one of the things that we focus on is how we can become a good advisor. I think you're seeing investment sales overall move to being a part of their client's team. We want to make sure we sit down and advise them on when to sell, what the pricing should be, and what they might need to do to improve that asset's value before they bring it to market.